Well, I guess we don't have to worry about harvesting tomorrow. This will slow us down a little bit, a day or two. Uh, the wifey has chores she wants me to do. I guess the aunt called and she says she wants to take a trip tomorrow. So the rain is a perfect time. Let's get to it. gonna turn into bed I so I guess our uh, great aunt uh, called and uh, recently uh, my uncle passed away a while ago and uh, her plan is to sell off some of the farm so she wants us to go pick for the barn basically find what we want uh, she's gonna give us a good deal on it and uh, pull it back here the only problem is uh, she lives a far ways away but, so that's the mission. So tomorrow morning, uh, my wife wants to get up early and uh, start heading that way. So my wife, she's had a late start. So uh, we are just going to do, doing a few chores around here. I need to hook up the grain cart again, just to prepare. We should be close to uh, harvesting. Right now, the corn's still a little wet. We gotta wait for it to dry off a little bit. But tomorrow should, it should go. All right, grain carts hooked up. Just gonna run my uh, my grain dryer for a little bit. Just gotta lightly dry off the soybeans. Just gonna run them through really quick. That's about it. And then otherwise, we will uh, just so they get down to a comfortable uh, percentage. They're a little bit wet right now. I don't want them to spoil. All right, so I'm gonna go try to get my wifey around here and uh, we'll start heading that way. The wife finally got ready. So we're gonna start heading that way here quickly. I need to go pick up a trailer from Jim's. So we're gonna, we're gonna borrow Jim's covered trailer quickly just to pick up some of the old equipment. I don't know exactly what uh, my aunt has in the barn. She doesn't really know herself, so uh, Her husband passed away a few years ago. Her husband used to be like a small farmer way back in the day Sold the farm uh, Went into uh, trucking Truck for a while and then uh, ended up getting sick uh, for and uh, left the farm a little neglected, but uh, The aunt just wants to the stuff we want she wants to stay in the family so she wants us to come by and check it out so the other day uh, we were harvesting with Jim he still has that demo uh, harvester right there that class thing was a gym I'm surprised he didn't call me this morning and help him unload the trucks but he must just be uh, keeping them in the field right now but I'm sure we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to figure out whose corn we're gonna harvest first ours because I really need to get our corn harvest or Jim's but we'll see I guess time we'll see go in here I already called Jim but just let him know that I'm taking it now all right Jim's just doing paperwork so he said just go ahead take it and use it so we're gonna get it backed up there and get it hitched on start this old truck up Try to use our rear view mirror there. Surprise, uh, my backup camera isn't working in this thing. Alright, so we're gonna hitch this up here quickly and then, uh, make sure. I'm need to make sure this is empty before I get too far. Alright, let's get in this and make sure it's empty here. Alright, uh, yep. Looks like it's empty, so hopefully this will work nicely. Any equipment, small items, or junk that my wife wants, we'll get it in there. Whose wife's here are antiquers? Mine for one is, so... I shouldn't call it junk, but a lot of it, we got a lot of antiques. Some of it's nice, and some of it uh, I wish just stayed in the barn. Beans, we're going to take this long distance. I want to just check the oil, check the belt. Make sure everything looks okay before we take off here. 
All right, looks like we're good. We'll shut that hood. Got a long way to drive. Got to take wide corners with this huge trailer. I mean, this thing, this thing is giant. But should work good picking up everything we need. All right, this is going to be a few hours. We're going to drive through the countryside. Drive by uh, Jim's little uh, operation here again. That's a lot of money, Jim Lee, sitting in the field. I don't know if I can stomach that much money sitting in the field like he does. A whole lot of money. Alright, good. Drive in the countryside. Got a lot of back roads to take here. Windy. What the heck road does that mean? It looks like... What? Uh, which direction? I can tell which what direction it is supposed to be showing, but why does it show either way? That's odd. Got the old place where we uh, grabbed the bins up there by the old lumber yard there. Driving down the beautiful countryside. Just love driving in the country late in autumn. Get to see all the fields. Get to see a few sugar beets in the field, but most of the time the fields are harvested, the trees are golden, some of the time anyways, but still early uh, fall here, but you see all the small t farmyards and everything, just uh, so beautiful to me. Oh man, my wife says we have to stop at Starbucks. This place is so expensive. I lose so much money from from the Starbucks place. Wish this place was never invented. Oh, this looks like a trailer hazard. Wait, is that my cousin? Big surprise seeing her here. Uh, I guess we'll uh, park right over here. Get us some Starbucks. Get in here, get a couple cappuccinos for the long drive. Huh. I hope my uh, cousin didn't see me pulling up there. I really don't want to talk to her right now. All right, so uh, we got the cappuccino. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. My wife thinks that... My wife wants me to take her home. Basically, the, her cappuccino didn't work with her. Uh, she's gotten a lot of stomach pains and everything, so she just wants, she told me I can FaceTime everything and she'll pick out what I need to bring, so that, I'm going to have to take her back home, which is going to be a 20 a mile round trip bringing her back home so I can finally get to her aunt's place, but oh well, things happen sometimes. I wish we could just do this another day, but... I think tomorrow I'm going to be in the field, so got to do this today. don't really have a choice anyways. Cousin left without even saying a word to me. Perfect. Alright, so let's get back home here. Uh, take my wife back, so I, hopefully I get service out there, because she is out in the country a little ways, but today's really changed on the cell phone uh, service providers. So a lot of the countryside has a self-service or even a 4G, sometimes even 5G now, but drive by Jim's uh, equipment lot here again, get back to the farm yard and uh, hopefully uh, able to uh, make this trip today because I'm not going to be able to do it for a few weeks. Just pulling in the yard here. Hopefully I can turn this big trailer around in my yard. It's kind of tight sometimes. I have to take the long distance around. So my wife left me a huge list of demands of antiques, that type of stuff, uh, old pottery, stuff she remembered her aunt has that she wants us to take. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, look through this list and uh, 
make sure I look for all these items. So, and uh, she wants me to FaceTime, but just in case we don't get service there, uh, she wants to give this list. So I know my Aunt Lisa has cell service, but I don't know if we can uh, FaceTime type service there. So I might have to call her on a landline. I don't know. But turn this up big trailer around and uh, start heading away here finally. Drive back by Jim's equipment lot. What the heck? Did you see that? Oh, we're gonna have to slow down here. I do not remember that truck. Uh, I'm gonna go check on his equipment here just to make sure. I don't know what this guy is doing, but where's this guy? Oh, get out of here! Get! Get! Get on out! Come on! Crazy. I don't know what he was doing, but obviously he wasn't supposed to be here. Man. That guy. I'm gonna have to tell Jim. He's gonna have to start uh, taking care of his equipment. What the heck was that guy trying to do over here? Oh. That just makes me mad. Somebody trying to uh, cause theft or damage or whatever farmers nowadays just barely can make it through each year and people think that they can take stuff or steal stuff from them but we better get on our way I'll call Jim on the way and tell him that he might want to think about taking his equipment back to his farmyard actually before I start going I'm gonna shut this gate and lock it up for Jim at least then he'll have a uh, Somebody will have to basically uh, break a lock here. There we go. Alright. So we uh, called Jim, told him about his uh, troublemaker out there in this field. But we need to finally get to this place, so... It's going to be a few hours, but hopefully we'll get there when it's daylight still. So I stopped by this tractor supply here. Just get a few items here. A pretty nice little countryside here. So we're in a whole nother county here. If you could tell, uh, all the trees are way greener here in this county. A little bit odd, but... Looks like they got most of their uh, corn harvested here. Uh-oh. What we got going on here? I don't know if that uh, old uh, John Deere broke down there. It's like an old John Deere 5020. Might have broke down. Got a little repair truck there. Hmm. I really like the curviness of this old uh, farm country here. Oh, manure spreader coming by? Man, this is an active roadway for equipment. That's for sure. I think I don't have any cell service, so I think I'm going to try to pull in here to see if anybody's home. Kind of give me directions. It's been a long time since I've been to my aunt's place. I really wish my wife would be here. Let's see if anybody's home. Well, they didn't uh, answer their door. I'm gonna go down. Looks like we have another farmyard here. Go up here. I'm, you know, hopefully I can back up this trailer. Man. It's kinda... Man, this is a little farmyard. Old farmyard here. What is this? They yeah, have an old 9610. That's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. The old sunset. 1570 right there. Hmm. Old Ford truck here. Uh, before I start snooping around too much, I'm going to see if they can give me directions. Alright, that's a good thing about an old farmyard like this. They know where everyone's at. So they gave me good directions. So I still have about 10 more miles to go. But we'll get to hauling here, so talk about nice. They wanted to give me some sweet tea and everything. These are some nice people here. 
not everybody would just show up at your door and try to give you some homemade, farm-made sweet tea, that's for sure. Especially some stranger in a big old trailer. Back this up. Alright. Try to drive this down. I thought I just saw that old manure spreader go there. Odd. Well, a lot of equipment driving around. Hopefully I can uh, stay out of the way. Well, there goes another... Uh, looks like an old gravity wagon going down the road there. Man. Oh, I'm going to wait for this sprayer to go by. A big old sprayer there. It's so active around here. Guess we're going to follow this sprayer down the road. And they sure do have a lot of crop signs here. Ooh, is that a first gen, uh, old Dodge there? Ooh, a 4640. Wow, isn't that cool? Man, I tell you what, this place has a lot of nice stuff. A lot of crop signs. They seem to be pretty, uh, proud of their crops, that's for sure. Man, I thought I just saw this grain car coming by. Man, I just can't believe how active this place is. I think this is where I'm supposed to turn. I don't know. I got a lot of lefties and righties, go aways, looking for a red barn. All barns are red. With a silo with a flag. Oh, yep, this is it. Oh, old, uh, what is that? 9600 there? Man, look at that old grain truck. Man, I wouldn't mind having one of them old grain trucks one day. It's a good-looking grain truck right there. Man, I just can't get over how rolly these uh, hills are around here. It's beautiful. I wouldn't mind building a house around this area or moving to this area one day just because of the scenic views. Old run-down uh, barn there by a nice little pond. Yep. See, there's some more of uh, them crop signs, man. They really mark them signs. I wonder if they get a little extra for that. No, oh, there's an old baler, old workhorse and baler. How cool is that? So much stuff. Oh, what do we got going on here? Looks like an old Magnum with uh, some type of mower on the back. Swather. Man, this farmyard looks really familiar. Man. Pretty sure this guy named Grant used to uh, do some farm videos. A farmyard just like that. I don't know where he went, though. All right, we got to drive a ways here, and then some more lefts and rights, and, uh, man, I'm so glad I wrote all these directions down, because, man, they are confusing. 55 mile an hour. Well, I'm going a little bit over that. I'm a little bit late when I told her I was going to be here, so, uh, yeah, got to hurry up. Even some more crop signs. Man, these crop signs all over this place. I just can't get how you just drive a little bit down the road and the hills really start rolling here. Looks like a big old elevator over there. Uh, Con Agra, I think that says. 25 mile an hour, huh? That's kind of slow. Crop production services. Hmm. Got another stop sign. Oh man, I hope I'm not lost here. Having a hard time getting cell service. Don't think the wifey's gonna be uh, very happy about this whole ordeal. Alright, I remember this little uh, 
roadway she said to go around. Another silo. Oh, is this the road? Hay bale. Yep, here we go. Take this down for a ways. She said this is a windy road. And they are just have a lot of farmyards around here. Old farmyards. Pretty active little uh, area, I think. Uh oh. Looks like we probably got a work zone going on here. Uh oh, we got a big old ditch growing. Gonna have to take it nice and slow by this. Thing. I got a big full drive here. Go over this hill. What is this? UPS truck coming by? Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like I wrote the directions down correctly. Alright. Yep. Got a little deer sign, a wildlife sign there. Oh, yep, that's my aunt's old place there. Right down there. Okay, uh... Let's see where... Uh-oh. 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 This is a big trailer hazard right here. I'll take it nice and slow. Alright. Man, I'm gonna have to get a come down here and with uh, some uh, payload or something to smooth this out for my hand. Wow, that's crazy! All right, so I think we will leave it right about here. Man, I have to tell my aunt about this, you know. Man, we're gonna have to smooth off these roads. Aunt said it's down the hill a ways here. She said just go down. She doesn't get around very well, so she said just go down there and come back and tell her what we found. So she already cleared out this big barn here. Man, she has a nice little fishing pond right here. This is kind of pretty. Got a nice little stream with the covert going over there. Man, be good. I bet you could even call some ducks in over here. This is a nice little uh, area. Yeah, maybe one day I can uh, inherit this ground. This is just beautiful ground. This is the type of place you retire in. Oh, another little pond here. A little stream going down. Wow. Oh, just stunning area here okay I think this is the barn right here how do we get into this man it's really overgrown that's for sure quite overgrown here guess maybe maybe we'll open up this door oh man this door looks like it's locked chain shut a windmill here with tree growing man we're gonna have to saw down that tree or cut it down or something it's almost getting into the windmill veins there oh this door is open let's see uh we just have some big fertilizer tanks here that's it hmm shut this door here What do we have in here? Oh, this door's open. Oh, oh, think we got something here. Looks like my uncle parked his old uh, trailer here. Get around. Ooh, what do we have? Look at all this stuff. Wow, really got a lot of junk in this old barn. What is this? Uh, 
Trans Star 2 International. Woo! Oh, that must have been my uncle's old uh, trucking semi here. Old suicide cab. Shut the door here. Cab is actually pretty good. It, man, I'm surprised it's this clean. This looks like it's been uh, shut in this garage for a while. Got any power? Nope. No juice here. Uh oh. A 5020 here. John Deere. Wow, look at this. A little manure spreader on the back. Man, this thing is nice. Oh, man, we're gonna have to talk to our aunt about this. This wouldn't be bad on the farm. Old uh, workhorse like this, when you can always use one of these old diesels on the farm. I don't know, I think about the manure spreader. I already have a few manure spreaders, so I, I think I'm just gonna tell her to sell this. Yeah. Just gonna tell her to sell this. Uh, it looks like the box is a little rusted there. Uh, battery's good. That's kind of surprising. Uh, probably needs fuel. Jump through the little feed trough. What is this old thing? Now that is an old time tractor. Man. Somebody's kept this around the farmyard. I, did, I don't even think my uncle probably farmed with this old tractor. Man. No battery power. I don't even know if this even has a battery on it. Man, this thing is old. I don't even think this is a... Is this a European tractor? How did this get over here? Look at that old thing. It has an old belt drive on the side. Man, that is an older tractor. Got a couple cans of oil right here. Oh, a John Deere 620. Oh. Oh, man. This even has a uh, three-point hitch on it. Can't find these usually. Usually, you had to get an aftermarket three-point hitch for these, and it's kind of nice. You rarely see a three-point hitch on these John Deeres. Old sickle bar mower here. Oh, man. Uh, 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 oh. oh man, this thing starts up even. Listen to that putt putt. Man. Even the belt drive drives down there. Oh man, we're gonna have to talk her uh, aunt into getting this old thing. Can't let this out of the family. Ooh, this wouldn't be mine. Wouldn't mind that sickle bar either, just for her. Uh, small mowing jobs or something would be bad. You can always use a secondary mower on the farm. Ooh, what? We got an old rusted uh, GMC here? Man, what is this? Uh, probably 70s? Yeah, it's probably before the 80s, so this is an older 70s truck here. A Sierra Classic GMC. Has bed tie downs here and everything. It's got some rust to it, but it's got a spare. It's got. Looks like an old gooseneck hitch. Man, looking inside is clean. Man. Oh, well, the switch is dead. The only bad thing about this, I don't think it's going to fit in our trailer. Man, I wouldn't mind having this old GMC. I might have to pay to get this hauled to my place, though. Not crazy about the color, but looks like maybe we could get it cleaned up at home or something. Give it a nice paint job, fix the rust on there. It's got a lot of rust on it, but... I mean, it looks like the tires were recently uh, changed, maybe, you know, four or five years ago, three years ago, maybe. Pretty new, right before it was put in the shed. Can't get the hood open for whatever reason, so can't look at it. Oh, is this a John Deere A? 
It's an old John Deere A series right here. Whew. I mean, if nothing else, we can use this as lawn art. I don't even know. Maybe we could get it all cleaned up and get to running. Does this thing run? Hmm. Nope. Doesn't seem like it's turning over. I'm gonna have to... I forgot. I've been so excited about looking in this barn. I forgot to look for all the antiques my uh, wife was looking Oh, there we go. So that's the bicycle she wanted. So I don't know. I, I don't know if this is her old bicycle or what, but she wants this thing. So she has memories. I doubt that was hers. It's way too old to be hers unless she started out an old bicycle. What was the other thing? Oh man, I forgot the list. Just been so interested in what the equipment in here. I don't really see anything that cool other than tires and bricks. What do we got here? Got cement in the back and a whole bunch of pipes. Doesn't look like nothing good anyways. So if we can open this door up over here. Let's see, I gotta move these tires here. Move them out of the way. Yeah, move this. Whatever these are. It's like old silo weights or something. I don't I don't know. Alright, so this thing started up, so we're gonna get that in there for sure. Get that all probably up in front. Man, I should have just brought our big gooseneck and not the covered trailer. So stupid. But <clears throat> I'm going to have to go up and uh, strike a deal with this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this this old GMC. Just because this can be an old winter project truck. I'm going to get that international. Hopefully I'll have to get a truck down here, a shipping company to haul now I'm gonna buy this 5020. So I don't know what a fair deal would be. So we got this old uh, Model A. I don't know if ever run again. We got the 6020. Got the sickle bar. I don't want to take advantage of my aunt, but hmm. So I'm gonna say this means it's running and everything. We're going to say 6,000. That might be a little low. We're going to say for the Suicide Cab International. Hmm. Oh, that is tough, tough, tough. I guess uh, we're going to go 2,000 for that. It has really high miles on it because it used to be an old cross-country truck. And thousand dollars for this old GMC where we at what did I say this five thousand two thousand one thousand eight thousand the sixty twenty man I mean that's nostalgic right there and it's pretty good condition whoo that's tough oh man I just don't know what you know what we're just gonna say 15,000 uh, 17,000 for everything I don't want to take advantage that's probably still a little low but that's about all I have 18,000 hmm. yeah yeah 18,000 I'm gonna tell my aunt see if she's okay with it probably should have okayed this before I start putting stuff in the trailer but uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.